Plaquenil or hydroxychloroquine is a medication we use quite commonly in rheumatology. It's used for rheumatoid arthritis, lupus and other connective tissue diseases. There was a small trial, about 20 odd patients, that was published uh, showing that there might be some effect of Plaquenil on COVID-19. Uh, I would like to help you understand that that was actually a, a study with many, many flaws, but it was actually a hypothesis generating study and requires a lot more investigation. The problem was that based on that study, many doctors started prescribing Plaquenil to uh, patients who uh, came in asking for it or uh, a little bit inappropriately for themselves or their family members. And I can understand this happening due to the anxiety that the COVID-19 pandemic uh, caused. The next problem came when President Trump uh, fast-tracked its uh, approval to use for COVID-19 uh, at the FDA level. And this really led to widespread uh, hoarding uh, and use, uh, including by governments. Now, in Australia, this led to a shortage of the medication for many of our patients. We would often get called um, trying to find an alternative, but the problem is there is little in the way of an alternative to Plaquenil. The Australian government has stepped in. Uh, it has tightened up the prescribing requirements for this crucial medication. Many rheumatology groups all around the world have spoken up against it, and at least in Australia right now, uh, the only people who can really access this medication will be patients who need it for their medical conditions. So we are hopeful that the current shortage um, will not actually impact our rheumatology patients as much in Australia. Thank you for listening. Um, keep well, stay safe uh, during these times.